What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the episode that is promised. I'm sorry if this feels a little hastily done. It's, you know, frankly, I'm ready to move on from Madden 19. Uh, but we did want to kind of just see how the team does in five years under computer control. Uh, you know, we did our best to get this team a Super Bowl. We put them in pretty good position to get it done as we move forward. Um, but it is going to be in the hands of the computer. So we're going to go ahead and sim to the start of the season. Everything's going to be automized here. So preseason week one, let's see what our team did with the roster. Looks like they drafted a new running back. Uh, let Jonathan Taylor go. You know, it's just the way this is going to have to go. They let uh, Ruggs go. Offensive line's getting a little older here. Got a new right tackle in there. There's the defense. Von Miller getting a little older. Bradley Chubb. The corner's still there. And our safety's still kicking. Eric Berry is back for another season. So let's see how it goes. On to the playoffs. All right, we actually made the playoffs. How about that? I don't know if I was expecting that or not without us helping out. But uh, let's see, did we get any awards? Nathan Sale was in the offensive conversation. Von Miller, another defensive player of the year. Caliber season, offensive rookie, our running back. Really played well. Cortland Sutton gets in the best wide receiver conversation. Joe Thune, good year on the O-line. Von Miller wins best linebacker. So Nathan Sale, a good year. He has made two Pro Bowls in a row now. 86 overall, so he is he's playing pretty well. Julius Hines, there you go. Pretty solid season. Philip Lindsay kind of taking a back seat a little bit. Great season for Cortland Sutton. Michael Gallup was all right. No fan continues to play well. So Sutton goes up to Star Dev. NFL receptions leader makes another Pro Bowl. Let's just do his upgrade. Why not? So Sutton has been definitely a, a positive light on this rebuild on the offense. And then uh, Noah Fant. He continues to get the production, two Pro Bowls. Let's do his upgrade just for fun. So got the good weapons there. Who is, wait, did someone else get two, uh, 10 touchdowns there? Jacoby Ball. All right. That's something to look at there. Rookie out of Michigan State. 10 touchdown season for him. All right. Skyler Ritchie. And he played well for us in our first season with him, but he's coming on. Deion Jones, Von Miller still has 18 and a half sacks. He's got to be the all time sack leader, right? For some reason, this defense is uh, unable to really get a bunch of interceptions. Let's. I just want to see where Von Miller comes in for career sacks because he, at this age, still playing at that level has got to be up there. I mean, he takes the cake in terms of uh, active players, but we want to look at NFL records here. So he is third in all-time sacks behind Reggie White and Bruce Smith. So if he could have a 20-sack season next year, he could get it done. We'll just do a, an auto upgrade here. So we are going to sim the playoffs, sim to the Super Bowl, keep our fingers crossed, and the Giants freaking make it again against the Texans. We lost in the first round to the Indianapolis Colts, and the Texans are your Super Bowl champs. So we're going to sim to next season. So year seven here, Nathan Sale is still our, still our man, Julius Hines. I feel like we should sign some free agents and probably start participating in free agency actually as we do this because I'm not sure the team actually signs anyone when you just simulate, which is pretty stupid. Looks like we actually uh, signed a pretty, uh, drafted a pretty good right tackle there. Sam Hubbard, we're gonna have to convert him to outside linebacker in this scheme. Same with this dude and this dude. So while our team thought that they were bringing in players that can actually play defensive line for us, they were signing edge rushers. Shocker, the Madden 
does not understand what it's doing. We also have an off-ball linebacker playing edge rusher. And you wonder why I need a break from Madden. So Peter's getting older. He might even start in the slot this year. And, ooh, we got a beast at safety there to replace Eric Berry. It'll be fun to see what he can do. But we lack a bunch of depth there, so let's just make some signings here. I think we needed a backup quarterback. We'll sign Jordan Love. Got plenty of cap space. I guess that's what happens when your team doesn't participate in free agency for a couple years. Just sign some random dudes here. How about Dee Dee Westbrook? JJ Arcega Whiteside. Bring back Taj Okariki, our man. Caden Smith. Need some help on that D-line. Grab Joel, uh, Joe Gaziano, Lorenzo Neal. How about LJ Collier to be like a 3-4 defensive end? Get Geno Stone back in here. So I will turn trades, free agency, offseason bidding, contract negotiations to manual and we'll actually start doing that so this team doesn't completely fall apart. So we'll go ahead and sim to the mid-season, look at our re-signings, and then we'll sim to the end of the season. Hey, we're 6-2 and two at the mid-season. Nathan Sala actually not playing his best season. Gallup's playing well. Oh my gosh, Von Miller might actually do it. He has 13 sacks halfway through. He's nine sacks away from being the all-time sack leader. Wow. Okay. So we got some upgrades. We'll just automate all these. Got some players to negotiate. Obviously got to bring Bradley Chubb in here. At this point, he's going to be worth about 16, 17 million dollars. So we'll pay him that. Vaughn, he wants another one-year deal. Now, I don't know. I don't know if he's going to stick around. We'll, we'll find out at the end of the year. I would love it if there was a way to make it so he doesn't retire, so he can come back and finish as the all-time sack leader, but that's never anything Madden's going to keep an eye on. So, Sela, at this point, I mean, God. I, I, I know that they fixed this for Madden 20, but, like, seriously... A franchise quarterback at 25 years old, a former first-round pick, asking for a four-year, $80 million contract. Like, how outdated is that? That's like five years outdated. So we're going to go over $30 million for Nathan Sala. Ephraim Scythe, we'll pay him. He hasn't been like a superstar. I don't think we need to pay him crazy amounts of money, about six and a half. DeAndre Baker, Peters, Gallup, we'll let them go. Let's... Uh, yeah, Reisner wants a four-year deal. I'll just We're getting inflated offensive line ratings at this point anyway. We'll, we'll let the rest of those guys go. All right, so on to the playoffs. Let's hope that the rest of the season can continue to go well. So we end up going 11-5. and five, And we get a first-round buy. So this team is actually, you know, we've done a good job building this team up, certainly. Even though the uh, team has uh, fallen apart a tiny bit because we didn't really realize that our team wasn't going to be re-signing anybody. But, hey, they've hung in there. Michael Gallup at 101 receptions. He's been he's had a really nice career here in Denver for us. Von Miller ends with 22 and a half sacks and finishes as the all-time... He goes down star dev. Uh, what a joke. But he finishes his career probably as the all-time sack leader in NFL history. So Broncos fans will love to see that. Um, you know, he's going to retire as, you know, a GOAT defensive player probably. I mean, I don't even know how many defensive players of the year he has in this. He's got a Super Bowl. He's got another Super Bowl appearance. 
go ahead and just automate all these upgrades. So let's go week by week here. I don't think we got too many awards there based on uh, what we saw there, but I'll just run through real quick to see what we got. Von Miller wins Defensive Player of the Year. Best linebacker, even though he's not a linebacker, he's an edge rusher. But we play the Bills. We're going to lose because Madden Sim Engine is a joke. We'll probably lose like 35 to 13. Hey, we won! Unbelievable! <laughs> I, I literally don't believe it. All right, at Tennessee. So another AFC championship and we lost. Man, just can't catch a break. So the Titans have won the Super Bowl. DeAndre Baker's only asking for a one year deal. I'm gonna give him that. Oh, he wants to test free agency. Michael Gallup, we're gonna re-sign him. He's played well for us. He wants to test free agency. All right, well, We'll just have to try to get them in free agency, I guess. So we have $68 million in cap space. We're gonna need to sign a running back. We need wide receiver help. Give Gallup that offer. He's not getting any offers right now. I think we could use an upgrade at tight end. I like Dallas Goddard a lot. That number two tight end spot. Let's give him a four year deal. See what he thinks of that. Actually, no, he's too old. I don't want to do that. I'd rather pay this Fleece Reed instead, who's not getting any offers. We need an old lineman. Brandon Scherf can still play. I'm just going to give him a one-year deal, though. Looks like Von Miller did retire, so we do need that edge upgrade. Let's see what we can find. Not a whole lot. Marcus Davenport. We'll pay him. See what he can do. He's getting nine bids. Let's up this to like a $30 million contract. Without Von Miller out there, it's going to be hard to repeat with this defense. Fletcher Cox only wants a one year deal, so why not? We got the cap space for him. Definitely need some corner help. DeAndre Baker will pay him. This guy looks all right. We're good at safety. We need a punter, so we'll pay a punter. And we did not get Marcus Davenport, so we definitely need an edge guy. I'm gonna sim to the draft and use our first pick on an edge rusher. Well, I don't think you can go wrong with this guy right here. 80 finesse moves. Good enough athlete. Good replacement there. Might as well sneak a little uh, tackle pick in there. Maybe a center. Another edge rusher. All right, let's get out of here. So the roster for this year, we need to sign a quarterback and a running back. Some more wide receiver depth, certainly. But... We're in, we're in decent shape here, I would say, for considering we don't have Von Miller anymore. So we'll bring Jordan Love back as the backup. Grab a running back. How about Miles Sanders? Need another wide receiver in here. Tyler Lockett looks like he can still play. So here we go to mid-season. We're moving right along. We only got three more of these seasons to do. All right, mid-season, we're actually five and two. Pretty surprised with how well this team has been playing. Uh, Cortland Sutton, obviously got to pay him Gonna pay him a little more than that. At this year, you know, probably looking at like 17 mil for a guy like Cortland Sutton. I do hope in Madden 20 these caps, the, the asking prices continue to inflate as the salary cap goes up because it's one thing to fix them, 
for 2019, but I really hope that they continue to ask for more money. Got to pay Noah Fant, too. Get him about 10 mil a year. Draymond Jones will pay you. You should get about 11 or 12. Quentin Pape will pay you. On to the playoffs. Wow, so we go 12 and 4, but we actually have to play a wild card game. Let's see, what did we end up with in terms of the awards? Trevor Lawrence comes away with an MVP. Any awards for us? Does not appear so. How about our stats? Looks like Nathan Sale is kind of stagnated. Not that he's bad, but he is, well, he actually has developed a little bit. He's up to an 89 now. He makes the Pro Bowl. But his development went down. All right, he, he deserves star. I mean, he's been, he's been pretty steady. Hines just has not quite been able to get over that thousand yard mark, but he hasn't been bad. Sutton played well. Gallup continues to play well. Glad we paid him. Jacoby Ball, this guy just scores touchdowns, man. No offense, stats have kind of dropped off, but he does not deserve normal development. He's been too good over his career. We'll keep him at quick where they had him. So Chubb comes in with 10 sacks. Delmer White, a little quiet. Would have hoped for more than that. DeAndre Baker, five picks. Ellis Avery, five picks. Samuel, career high for him, I think, with three. All right, can we get it done this year? We do have a bunch of upgrades. This fullback, I don't know what it is about him, but he makes the Pro Bowl like every year. All right, can we beat the Ravens? Negative. We lost again. God, our playoffs luck just sucks. Jeez, the Jets. Oh, I thought that said 61. My vision's going bad. <laughs> they lost to the Cowboys. So let's see. Players ready to negotiate anybody here that we got to re-sign. I think uh, Skylar Ritchie's been good enough that we should re-sign here. He puts up numbers for us. So he's coming back. The tackles are leaving. Whatever. We'll just let all these guys go. We'll probably dabble in free agency. So Sutton's regressing. We definitely need a wide receiver. I'm going to give Mike Evans a one-year deal, see what he thinks of that. We do need a guard. Probably just draft one. Draymond Jones is regressing there. So we're losing Fletcher Cox up front. No one really in free agency that I want to pay, though. Could probably just sign someone in free agency once the season starts. I mean, it's the thing about once these computer generated draft classes start coming in it just gets a little easy to team build there's just way more serviceable options here for us it also feels like players start asking for less as it starts to get more inflated um, but how about we sign a corner here or at least try to Redskins are cashing out for this guy but he seems like a pretty good player going rate for a corner these days should be over 10 million anyway at least a good starting caliber one we're good at safety. Let's advance to the draft. Draft a wide receiver, probably. We'll see if we get those guys we made offers for later. Well, sorry guys, I accidentally simmed the draft. Don't get too mad at me. Looks like we drafted an edge rusher here that they're trying to play at interior defensive line. No surprise. Did get a good corner, but nothing else to really speak of. Let's see, did we get Mike Evans? Yes, we did at least get Mike Evans, so that's consolation for simming the draft. Looks like no Michael Gallup this year. We got a new center, we got a new right guard. On the D-line, we should probably move one of these guys to defensive end. We should sign uh, some interior depth here, I think. For the linebackers. Could be in worse shape. Bradley Chubb's up to an 89. Asante Samuel. Looks like we did not get that corner we were going after, but that's fine because we drafted a pretty good looking dude here. Hopefully he can have a, he's actually a stud. Maybe he can play well. We got the safeties figured out. Let's dabble in free agency here. Yeah, why not sign Christian McCaffrey as a backup? Bring in Calvin Ridley at the end of his career. 
Need some interior depth. Michael Pierce still kicking here. Vita Vea, a couple run defenders. Grab this freak rookie here to play D end. All right, on to mid season. Only two more years left. Come on, can we get a Super Bowl, please? All right, four and three at the mid season. Players ready to negotiate our 90 overall fullback. I'm not going to pay him. Uh, this running back, I don't think has really deserved a contract. This Jacoby Bell's played well, but uh, no one I'm really freaking out about there. We're going to go ahead, send to the playoffs. We've had pretty good luck here. Maybe we can get it done. 11 and 5. We get a first round by. Maybe this is the year. This fullback, dude, what the heck? Why does he make the Pro Bowl every season? I, I don't know why he's so good. Maybe we just need to convert him to running back. Let's see. How good is he? Maybe he's the reason we're so good. Maybe I've been wrong this whole time and fullbacks do matter. Maybe we should just pay the man. All right. I'm feeling good. I'm thinking this is the year. Divisional game against the Chiefs. Let's just see how our team did. Yeah, Sale has just been steady. He does go down to quick again. Maybe we should fix that again. Or, you know, maybe because he has stagnated, that's warranted. Hines just every year coming short. Yeah, the fullback, it's a bunch of carries. Fant finally re-emerged here. Cortland Sutton, good season. He's going to continue to get, get worse. This guy just scores touchdowns. What is his deal? I, don't, I think we got to pay him. Defensively, I don't know why Deion Jones gets so many sacks. We probably have him as like our starting edge rusher on our depth chart or something because this game's dumb. Pick numbers were low again. All right, come on. Come on, get it done. Get it done. What the hell? Why can't we win a playoff game? <laughs> we do so well in the regular season, and then we can't even come close in the playoffs. Ugh. I feel like at this point, we'd probably fire our head coach. So the Raiders have won a Super Bowl in this. The Chiefs have now won a Super Bowl in this. Let's just pay our fullback. Why not? Dude's a stud. Let's pay this guy. He scores touchdowns. Let's see what we can get in free agency this year. Everyone in our division winning Super Bowls except for the Denver Broncos. We got 41 million cap space. This is our final season. We're going to blow out. We're going to start by signing a big time running back, Rashawn Henson. Start with you. Maybe we sign Khalil Mack. At 36 years old, we miss Von Miller. We need you, Khalil. One year, $15 million contract. Could upgrade at wide receiver with DeAndre Hopkins. He can still play. Let's see what he thinks. Cortland Sutton's regressing bad, by the way. Kyler, free agent. Let's see. What else could we do here? We'll do our final draft as well. I don't know how Skylar Ritchie is a free agent. I thought we just re-signed him. I think our team cut him or something. It's unfortunate. Well, let's see what happens with these veterans here. Well, we get the running back in Khalil Mack. Uh, I don't know if Hopkins signed with anyone else or not. Nope, we're still the front runner for him. No one else getting involved, so hopefully he signs next week. Ooh, the running back even had an upgrade waiting. Hopefully he can just go off. Win the MVP, baby. All right, still nobody wants to sign Hopkins. Let's up this a little bit. Come on, brother. There we go. We get Hopkins. Even as an upgrade waiting. All right, one last ride here. 
Should we start with a burner at wide receiver? Or is it more important to grab a lineman? That's probably our biggest need here. Let's see, can we find any stud guards or anything? This guy seems pretty damn good. That'll work. Grab a tackle. You'll do. Maybe an interior guy. Although this guy seems like a stud. Not a great athlete, but good player. Terrible agility, but you might be able to produce in simulation. We'll see. Let's see what we can find. What can we find on the D line here? There you go. Mike Capers. We do need a middle linebacker. Just take this guy. Whatever. All right, let's get out of here. So Stefan Diggs actually just got cut. Could go with a double veteran approach there at wide receiver. It's gonna eat up all of our cap space. Not gonna be able to really sign anyone else, but let's do it. All right, this is our last season. Here we go, we're gonna just sim all the way ahead to the playoffs. No re-signings to worry about, because this is it. All right, the simulation is done. Ooh! All right, Broncos. <laughs> Don't tease us. Looks like the Khalil Mack ad was big time. Nathan Sela has one of his better seasons. He always hovers around that 4,000 yard mark, but the touchdowns to interceptions, good. The new running back, solid addition, it seems. DeAndre definitely helped. Noah Fant had a good year. Diggs. It's a good trio of wide receivers. The offense clearly better, which you would have expected after the moves we made. The sack monsters, Draymond Jones, Bradley Chubb, a bit of a down year. But we'll take that. I don't think we would have gotten any awards, but let's check. Russell Wilson to the 49ers. MVP. Sala was fifth. Finished fourth for best running back, Rashawn Henson. Hopkins third for wide receiver. Khalil Mack in there for linebacker. DB. Our D-backs really disappointed. Really not able to replicate what this Broncos defense had back in the day with like Chris Harris and Akeem Tlaib. Let's see what upgrades we got. The fullback, don't tell me he made the Pro Bowl again. <laughs> Dude's gonna just be the best fullback ever. Four-time Pro Bowlers, a fullback? How is that even possible? We'll simulate those upgrades. All right, Nathan Saylor, come on. You had a good year. It's just the Browns. 38 to 10, let's go. Come on. Get to the Super Bowl. Woo! Defense, baby! 12 to 10. And we play Russell Wilson and the 49ers. Fitting that we made it here in the final season. I, I'm just going to pop my head in here and just see what happens. Maybe we get a drive opportunity. Maybe we dominate. Who knows? All right, Sayla, you are... 0 for 1 in Super Bowls. Let's see what happens. Russell Wilson's got the experience. 6 to nothing. Sale is doing. There you go. There you go. 14 to 6. Good game. All right. Yes. I think we've done it. We've done it. Woo! It's like the third time in our rebuilds that we've come up clutch at the very end. Yeah, granted, this was in the epilogue, but very fitting. Sayla just, <laughs> wow. Finally get the man some elite receivers. The offensive line was a little bit better this year. That was fun. Congratulations to Nathan Sayla, Vic Fangio, Khalil Mack, DeAndre Hopkins, Stefan Diggs, Noah Fant, 
Bradley Chubb. A lot of these guys getting Super Bowls at the end of their careers. So who knows if this team would continue their success or not, but that is going to do it. That's all you get. That is the end of Madden 19 for me, other than the TFGO League that is just wrapping up. If you want to see that, head over to twitch.tv slash thatfranchiseguy and you can get the rest of that. So please hit that like button. I really hope you enjoyed the series. Uh, we'll be running polls and stuff to figure out who we want to do for the first rebuild of Madden 20. But until then, peace out. Cheers.